good or bad for them. And stand beside me. I would like for the leaders, the advisory committee, or the board of your church to join me as well. Okay. If you're one of the leaders of this church, I would like you to join me, please. And uh, well, Billy, all right, you're, you're the current Tom and Fellowship chair. I'd like you to come as well. In church, as I said, there's people. It's a pastor whom God has called. And it's people who stand with that pastor, pray with him, and lead with him. And certainly the most uh, important person that stands with the pastor is a pastor's wife. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't do what I've done for 46 plus years without my wife. So I'm going to ask Judy if she would not come and stand by you. Amen. Amen. Congregation, I have just a couple of statements to make, and I want you to respond. First, I make them to your pastor. As God has given to you as a leader, this facility, do you today, before God and before this congregation, dedicate yourself to preaching His Word, to teaching His Word? To be a man who recognizes the need for the anointing of the Holy Spirit and that this facility needs the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Do you commit yourself to that today? Congregation, many of you are friends and family and, and supporters, and I ask of you today, the house is a building, that's all, but it's a building dedicated to God. Amen. Do you today dedicate yourself to the cause of Christ and that this facility will be used to honor and glorify the Lord Jesus Christ in everything? If you do, would you please say that? I do. Okay, thank you. Would you stand here? We have quite a few of our ministers here. 